Hi Jessica, finally I'm getting to creating the Dr. Foot Solutions video showing you how to add products to the e-commerce site. As I've mentioned earlier in the emails, this is not a WordPress website nor is it a Woo Themes or WooCommerce site. It's something quite different and it's very, very awkward to use but I do need to delegate it so I can get on with um, growing the business. So here we are at Online IQ and in the password fields we add in the password. Uh, ignore that, we'll go to e-commerce and products. Now, the way that I manage this is, let me take a look at the Dr. Foot website. Um, now, there is an Excel sheet I'm going to give you and also the link to Dropbox, so you'll be downloading images from the Dropbox. So I'll go to the Excel sheet. The new men's shoe for flip, fit flop men's is Goff Slide. The track 2 and the FF Supertone have already been added in. And you'll see when we go to fit flop, you scroll down, you click onto men's, and you can see fit flop dash tan, supertone, and track have been added. This was my attempt at adding in the new image field. So we'll go, I'll go back into here and go to fit flop and it was men's. So that's the one that I was trying to do. So what I'll do is I'll go into that and delete it. I'd rather show you from scratch. Great. So I'll go to Fit Flop Supertone Men's and bring that up. And the reason for that, it just makes me easier when I've got this as a point of reference. You'll know why when I start to show you in detail. I'll add that same URL here so the same details comes up for Supertone Men's. Now I'll go back into products, add product, and the product name, I'll go to Fitflop Supertone Men's and copy that across, but it's not Fitflop Supertone, we're going to call it uh, Slide, Slide and Chocolate. Great. The product code will come up automatically. Now this is quite tricky here in product descriptions. I'm going to go back to Fitflop Supertone. Pretty much copy everything that's in there and go to the product description here and paste it there and save. Now you'll find here that you've got the URL with forward slash question mark and as you know that doesn't work well so what we do is we go to catalog that's the fit flop there we go to men's you press on this button men's shows up here and if we go back to details you'll find that fits it correctly so it then becomes it removes it eliminates the question mark so it then reads forward slash fit flop, forward slash men's, fit flop, slide, chocolate men's, which is good. So we'll save that. And there is no image in place just yet. So we'll go here. I'll refresh the screen. And here we are. We'll find fit flop, slide, chocolate men's. So come to think of it, it's probably best not to call call it chocolate men's so I'll see what I can do. I'll remove the word chocolate and save fit flop slide chocolate men's the URL is that. I'll go to the site refresh the page that's better fit flop slide men's that's what we want this part of it to be called. Okay.
Now, what I'll do is I'll get into the uh, preparing the image and this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Now I've got Fitflop Supertone Men's. Now with the product description, uh, I'll, I'll show it to you first on the Dr. Foot site. Let's go to Supertone Men's and what we have here is description, features and size chart. So all this information is in that one content area and we need to make it work like this. Now the way to do that is we'll go to back to Fitflop Supertone Men's and then it's the HTML. That's it. So we go into HTML. This is what separates the information to workers tabs. So we have tab one here, the code, a bit of information. Tab one finishes, div, tab one, tab two. So these tabs must be inserted into the code to be able to make that feature work. Now, we've just copied the information across. But the information that I've copied across here is not the correct information for Fitflop Slide Men's. So I'm going to go into uh, Dropbox, uh, Fitflop Slide Interesting. Doesn't look like she's got it here. Here we are. Goff slide men. Good. So this is in the Dropbox. I'll open up this folder which shows the images and there's the Word file as well. So I'll open up the Word file and this is information that needs to go in. So supercharge your feet. But what I do is, I know that there's all this code in Word, so I'm going to copy this, if it lets me. And I'm going to put it into InDesign. And just copy it all across in there and it hasn't happened oh here we are it has thank goodness great so I'm going to quit out of this um. okay so I'm back into the product information here. So I'm going to change the information to read as follows. So we'll go to Men's Collection Corporate Copy, great. Fit Flop Supercharge Your Feet. Um, Now how will we place this? So I'll copy that we don't need. I'll copy that information. Go into here. And I'm going to replace this. So delete that and paste that information there. Now I do think this is better as supercharge your feet, uppercase and lowercase is a lot neater. Again, same here, biomechanically
engine need? Ergonomically optimized. I'm spelling it with the Australian spelling. But I'm going to leave micro wobble board as it is because it's a trademark of some kind. So we've got that information in there. And that looks like a list. So I'll go back to InDesign and I'll copy. I will copy all this information here into the list. So fit flop micro wobble. I'll keep this wording here. I think I'll keep all of that information in there. And what I've copied, I'm just going to put it under here. So, okay. To create the biomechanically engineered, ergonomically optimized micro bubble midsole inside every pair of men's shoes, we have we worked with expert biomechanists at London South Bank University, making shoe shoes feel this good in no mean feet. And then I'll put a space here. This season's stands standouts, the wear everywhere golf slide to the grown up track and our FF Supertone Wonder Shoe Go Explore. Where the shoes rule the world. Great. So what I'll do is I've copied this information into here and we could see that the sentence was broken so what I've done is I've just read through it and streamlined it so that it's all together great that reads a lot better now and I'll go back one more time and see the rest of the information Goff slide 2 that's a bit more of an information the size the price and the fit so let's see what we've got here. This is the benefits and it looks like they do want a bit more information in there but what I'll do is I'll save this. We'll take a look at the HTML and we can see already that the tab is missing up the top. Damn, it's already broken the entire side chart. So unfortunately what we need to do is go back here and this is where the copy starts with clean moderate. So we'll need to copy all of that. This is what I mean where it gets really tricky. And I'll paste that into there. And that becomes a div, and then the word starts there. Let's see how that works here. That's about right. The wording starts on its own line. And this is what I find confusing. Right, there are breaks and divs through here. So what I'll do is copy that right through to there, which is where the wording ends after the last div. Go back into here. This is where the wording ends and we paste that there 
and I'll get rid of the BR. But what we are meant to have is a div at the end of the wording here. And when we scroll down, we'll take a look here. And after reduce foot pressure concentration, again, before image, I'll copy all of this code up to there. Go back here and copy all of this, remove it, and then paste the tab where it ends and up to content F and then save. So at the moment it looks okay here, but let's take a look at how it looks on the website. So I'll refresh the screen and go back to FitFlop, go back to Men's. There is no image here yet. But we do have the first product, FitFlop Slide, which will become the chocolate. So the description is here, which works fine. The features hasn't quite worked. And the size chart hasn't worked. Okay, this is where it gets very awkward. At least we know everything's fine up until Explore for the description. The features is not working properly. So we go back here. So everything's fine up until there. Go explore. It seems like that's all that can fit. Great, so I'll go back to here, which is the previous product, and see what we've done. So what I'm going to do then is go to standing copy the div, copy all of this code, tab 1, tab 2, right to where the wording begins, fit flop micro wobble. Then I'm going to go here as well, turn to HTML. Again, this is, okay, wear the shoes that rule the world so we'll leave that so I'm going to remove all of this code here that so that when I paste in the code that I've copied previously it starts this is meant this here is meant to be on this um, second tab so I'll just put the cursor here and paste all of that code that I've copied, that way then the wording here starts. So we've got tab 2 and it's right down here. That's the last point. So what I'm going to do is go back here, look for the last point as well which is reduce foot pressure concentration which is a break. And then I'm going to pretty much again copy all of this div right to that tag there before image. Copy that. I'll go into here. Again, go to div. Delete all of that because we're right before image. Paste in what I've done. Okay, great. So what we've got here is the div, and I think that's what may have um, where it may have gone wrong. I've actually missed this code here, so I'll copy that because that closes off tab three, and remove all of this, delete it, and then paste. That way we've got that same code. Now I'll save that. On the design, it just looks much the same. You actually need to test it on the website to see what's happening. So I'll refresh the page 
and what we have here is description, features, thank goodness it's worked, and size. There you go. So through this demonstration you can see how fickle, how tedious it is. Sadly, this is a process you need to go through for every product. Well, that's that worked out, thank goodness. Now what we need to do is add in the correct images and also the right prices. So we go into prices, which I haven't got anything here just yet. We'll go back here onto the sample one that I'm following. We'll go to prices and we'll see here. Australia consumer recommended retail price, sell price and the tax code. So I'll go here, consumer, I'll go to the Excel sheet and she's mentioned 179. So I take it that's correct. So I'll go to 179, 179. It doesn't have the dollar sign, just that. 179.95, good. And we'll add in the Australian GST as per that example and save. Great, so we're following pricing consumer, pricing consumer, correct. Great, so we go to catalogs. We see we've chosen men's. We'll go to the new product that we're working on, Fit Flop Slide, catalogs. It's men's, that's correct, and it's men's from Fit Flop, women, men's. So if you actually press that, that will go back above women's or below women's and then when you choose men's and you select this button it will take you back there which will give you the right domain name attributes no attributes here attributes um, size okay there's nothing quite added there inventory Control is disabled, great, leave that. Poplet images. Okay, so there's a black 1A and a black M pop 2. That's what they've called it. It's not very well named. And upsell, cross sell. and they have nothing in there for now, which is fine. So rather than going to popular images, I'm going to go to details because what we need is a small image and a large image. So I'll go back into here, go to details and small image. Now, the way I'm going to do this is literally just go back to fit flop go to men's, go to supertone. So this would be the small image and this would be the large image. So I'll click onto that and it doesn't increase in size. That does. That doesn't. Okay, what I'm going to do is screen grab this image here and treat that as the poplet. Actually I wonder if it will show the next and previous. Okay it's only showing that and that one doesn't come up. Let me take a look if it's going to happen in the slate grey. No that one doesn't work either and I'll go back to fit flop, women's, I'll go to fit flop hooper, so none of these bigger images work unfortunately. Okay, I'll go back to fit flop, men's, super tone, and I'll treat the large image 
as per the poplet image. So I'll go back to fit flop, men's, and fit flop slide. So I'm going to go into Photoshop and just quit out of these images that I was preparing for you for the other site. Go File Open and the screen grab, which is the small image fit flop, and I'll call it save as fit flop slide chocolate men's. I'll get rid of that, save it on the desktop, and then go back to my browser to the Dropbox. I uh, don't need that. So I'll go back into the Dropbox. Oops. I didn't mean to go there. I'll go back, I'll go back, I'll go back. And go back into, let's see. I'll go back into Goff Slide Men's and it's the chocolate I'm working with. So this is a poplet image. So this one I will download. And I'll go back to the previous image and download that. I'm using an Apple Mac, so I'm just right clicking. And go back again, and I'll use that as the main image. Okay, so they all seem to be SS13. Great, so I'll go back into Photoshop. File, open, desktop, SS13, they haven't come down, just bring those down. Forgive my messy desktop. File, find, SS13. Here we are. So that's a few things downloaded. Okay, today. So I'm going to choose all three of these, put it onto the desktop, go to Photoshop, File, Open, and I'll start with the main one. So I'll copy that. And I'll save this as Fitflop Slide Chocolate Men's Dash Main. So that'll be the main image. Edit Paste. Okay. Edit Free Transform. I'll soon enough see how this works, but I'm hoping it'll fill the area. So I'll bring that up to there, center it, go into the background, and I'll give you these images to save you doing this, so at least there's a master to work on. Background colors fine, uh, flatten image, file save as. And I'll turn that into a JPEG. Then I'll go to File, Save As, and I'll just call it Pop1. Go to the desktop, File, Open.
I'll choose that one now. Copy that. Paste it. Alter the size. To go back into there. So that's pop one saved onto the desktop and save as pop two on the desktop. So I'll get the third image. CSS. That's the one. So I'll grab that. Copy. Close that. Um, go to pop two. Paste. OK. Edit free transform. And move it there. Flatten image, file, save. OK. I'm just going to trash those because I don't need them anymore. And we've got the three images here. Ignore that. Ignore that, which are the screen grabs. I'll go back into the product here. The large image. So I'll go to Browse. And... This is unusual. I'll go upload files. Go to my desktop and get the main image. That's done and images. I'll put it into images, product images, and upload. Done. Cancel out of that. Browse. And take a look at what's happened here. That's all different products. So we'll go to product images, and it was the uh, FitFlop Slide Chocolate Men's. That's the one. So we'll insert that as the main. Oh no. We'll put that as the main. I'll delete the small image because we haven't uploaded it. Browse. Upload file. Choose for folder. I'll make it images product images. Select. And we'll get pop one. And then select. And we'll get. Uh, where was it? Pop 2, Fit Flop Slide, Chocolate, and Add. No, I don't need to add anymore. Upload. So we'll go back into Fit Flop, that one there, Insert. And save. Just go to uh, Poplet Images and make image one Fit Flop Chocolate 
pop one, which is that, insert, and for the next one, we'll go fit flop slide chocolate pop two, which is that image, insert, so that's done, and save. So we'll go back to details. I'm not sure of this, but I'll take a look at what's happening here. So I'll refresh this screen. And it's got the right image, but it's still a little bit too large for some reason. This I can't quite work out, but I'm hoping you might be able to. And the poplet image is correct, which is great. So they're nice and sharp and they work fine but I've got no idea why this is slipping out when it really should be in its right position I'll just go back here to see if large, large image I'll remove that we'll see what the previous products doing it's the same for both of them large image that one is enabled but what I'll do is I'll save it See what happens here. Refresh the screen and it's missing right. Okay, so if I put, I'll remove that and just make it the main. So browse, go back to fit flop main, which is this image here. Insert. And same for the large image. I'll go to Fit Flop, Chocolate Main, you can see it there, Insert. And I'll save. And, and then I'll refresh the screen. And the image is visible again. So I've got no idea why it's falling out of the box, but what's important is it is there and it's got the sizes. Now this is what we need to go into. So if we go back to fit flop here and choose men's and go into let's say fit flop desk sizes you've got a series of sizes to choose from and the option of black and pewter which is not working on the DAS 10 interesting it hasn't been set up correctly I'll go back here to supertone so we've got the option to choose slate gray or black and sizes, please select. Doesn't give any option for sizes. Great. Okay. Now, there is a video here that was given to me that talks about how to include and group the images. So I'll replay. I'll just let that stream out, and I'm hoping Gar. Uh, the computer will capture this quite well, but I'll give you the link as well. This is Ursula talking about what's going on. Great. Now, the way that you group the products is you go to details, so it would be uh, Fit Flop Goff Slide, Action, Group Products Together, 
as shown here. And here we are. Then you go back to the, I believe this is in the attribute section. So you would have you would have all three items move to the right box to be grouped together. So I'd say this is what you do first. You put, it'll be Fit Flop um, Goth Slide Chocolate Men's and Fit Flop Goth Slide Black Men's. And this shows how the drop down menu displays and which color is the defaults. You can also add weighting to further define order of colors. So all you want to do is um, add in black and chocolate. So the first one that shows up is um, chocolate, say, and then we can have black underneath. You save that, and then you go to details and group products together. Don't mind the noise in the background. I've got two galahs on, on the porch, and they're singing quite loudly, so it's probably being caught in this video. Okay, so that's pretty much uh, how it works. And... I hope you found this useful and I'll also give you the links to this video and to this information and to this Evernote information as well so you've got everything that you need to refer to and um, I'm sure this video is going to make your life a lot easier with how to add products onto Dr. Foot Solutions as we've already demonstrated here, men's and we already have something to look at with uh, Fit Flop Slide Men's. So we just need to put in the black product and that will then give us the ability to choose. And the sizes, that's something we'll need to work out as well. But for now that's enough to go by and to make sure that these tabs work when you do put the information in. And um, I'm sure this will keep you busy for a couple of days. So thank you very much for your support Jessica on this project. It's something I definitely need to delegate, otherwise it's going to slow me down in my business. Thanks for being patient to watch this video in detail. Bye.